WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track, all the sectors. Well, I take that back. Most of the sectors with inside the S&P 500 trading on the upside. Dow's up 184 points. That's about six tenths of a percent. Seven tenths for the S&P or 29 points. Nine tenths for the NASDAQ 100. 129 point move there. The Russell's just flat. Uh, semis are up 35 points. That's a little over 1%. Tranny's up 9 tenths, 125 points there. You've got gold trading out at 1994. That's flat. Silver's flat as well at the 2293 level. Like to recruit us anything but flat. It's up uh, about 2 bucks, 2.5% two nearly. Natural gas pulling back. That is a psycho. Uh, set of charts out there for natural gas of 2%. And the 30-year Treasury up one point and three ticks. Trading out at 110.17. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES, the ES Mini. Bottom left-hand corner. What do we see here? We know we've got a TD9 count and Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price dealing with its uh, second level of resistance. And that's the center of its daily profile. 42.44. We've been up to 42.48.50. If price can clear this 42.44 level, odds favor we make a move to the 43.17-ish range. Now, if today the spot volatility closes below the 50-day exponential moving average, it's trading below it right now. The 50-day is printed at 17 58. We're at 1726. If we close below that, this rally inside the ES Mini, the S&P 500 should continue. If we take a look at the NQ, it has achieved its first objective. It's not shown here, but price is trading above that red oscillator and change line. Its next price target is its sell zone. The sell zone is between 14,838 and 14,938. U.S. dollar index is above the top of its daily profile, but it ran right into resistance near its Rhodes momentum indicator top at 107.05. With regard to Goldilocks, the consolidation with inside its new profile, it did form yesterday. It is different in numbers, meaning it is now a bullish structured profile. 1975 to 1986 is the the buy zone and resistance up at 2014. In the case of silver just consolidated with inside its profile with support at 2253, resistance at 2330. Light tweed crude closed just slightly below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile yesterday. Turns out at this stage of the game, that was a false breakout. Price finance support where it should between 81.43 and 83.88. And if we take a look at natural gas, if we put out our trend lines out here, you had a nice day yesterday, but what did price do? Ran right into that trend line. Don't know what it's going to do from here. Maybe it gets back to support between 325 and 325 level. And a 30-year Treasury, it's trying to take on a descending trend line. If you cl clear above that, 113.19 would be its price target. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your day, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.